it's Miss Nima. Today is Wednesday. Today our story that we're going to read is another bunny book and at the end of the video today there is a link that you can go ahead and find and it's going to have a fun game that you can play that kind of goes along with our book today. So today we're going to be talking about things that are the same and things that are different. So if I have an apple and an orange they're both fruit right but they are different colors. So an apple and an orange are kind of the same, but they're also kind of different. So today, our story that we're going to read is called Gray Rabbits Odd One Out. Now, what he's going to do is he's going to look around and he's going to find different things that are different, things that are not the same. So this story is by Alan Baker, and I love this book because Alan Baker has a lot of books about rabbits and bunnies, and he loves to write about them and teach all kinds of cool things. Like there's one that's called um, gray, uh, Black and White Rabbits ABCs. So if you get a chance and you like this book, you can always go and, and uh, go to Google, type in Alan Baker, and see if there's any other books that you can read um, maybe on YouTube and see if you can find some more. So, again, this book is called Gray Rabbit's Odd One Out by Alan Baker. Picture, it looks like he's doing some sorting. Hmm. One morning, Gray Rabbit could not find his favorite book. Oh my goodness, it looks like a huge mess, right? Did you ever have a mess when you were at your house? Oh, and you're trying to look for something. You really want to find it. It's time to clean up, thought Rabbit. First, let's sort out the wooden animals. So the first thing that Rabbit has to do is he is going to look for all of the wooden animals. So I'm going to hold the page here, and I want you to see if you can find all of the wooden animals. It looks like one is in his arm, and that's an alligator you can find the wooden animals. Now remember, we don't want soft, stuffy animals. We want wooden animals. There were two of each kind, just like in Noah's Ark. But one thing was not an animal. What was the odd one out? So look at, here's all of the things, all of the wooden animals that the bunny found. But look at the picture and see if you can find the thing that should not belong. I'll give you a hint. It's at the bottom of the page. See if you can find it at the bottom. I'll give you another hint. It has red and gray colors. You know what it is? A teaspoon. So did you guys see that spoon at the bottom? There it is. So Rabbit sorted out, of, out his cups and saucers next. But one thing did not belong. What was it? So let's see, he's looking at cups and saucers, things that you would maybe put on a table like a tea set. But something does not belong. And I'll give you a little hint. This thing is also red and gray and brown. And it's kind of by the corner of the page. Okay, keep looking. Hmm. It's long and pointy. A paintbrush! Rabbit gathered up his paints and brushes and made a useful sign. Now what was the odd one out? So look, he made a big sign and it says, can anybody read that? It says, P -a -i -n -t. paint. Hmm, there's something that doesn't belong. This one's tricky. This one is a tricky thing to find that is the odd one out. Ready? Here's your clue for this one. It is behind the paints. Can you find something that doesn't isn't a paint thing? It is behind the paints. And here's your other clue. It's red and yellow. A red and yellow polka dot ball. Rabbit found all of his round things. Hey, stop rolling away. But one thing did not belong. What was it? So all of the things that he found are round. 
What shape are all those round things? They are circles. And there's that polka dot yellow ball. Now, this is another tricky one to try to find, okay? Because it is behind again. The thing that does not belong, it is different, is behind rabbit. Okay, see if you can figure out what does not belong. It's not round. It's not a circle. It's not a ball. It is a purple vase. Where can that go, thought rabbit? It's the only thing I have. Then he matched it up with all the other purple things. But something wasn't purple. What was it? Now, yesterday, you were supposed to go around your house and find all kinds of different purple things, right? So that was like sorting. You sorted all the purple things in your house. But something does not belong. It's not purple. Oh, it's in front of the vase. It's behind the jack-in-the-box. <gasps> a duck! That belonged with all the other stuffed animals. So Rabbit lined them up in a row. Now, what did not belong? So remember, there's something that's different. It's not a stuffed animal. Hmm. It has letters on it. And check and see, you might even know the letter. block. There were lots and lots of blocks. How could rabbit sort them? So I want you to think if you had lots of blocks, what would be a good way to sort your blocks? Okay. What do you notice that's different about them? What makes this block different from this block? Or what makes this block different than that block? What makes this one the same as that block? Hmm. And look at, you could also name the letters on these blocks, smart kiddos. First, he built a square out of red blocks. Then he made a wall with the green blocks. The yellow blocks made a tower. What was among the blue blocks? Hmm. So look at Rabbit's doing some cleaning. He's building with those blocks. And there's something hiding in the blue blocks. You see it? <gasps> look! It's Rabbit's favorite book. I'll sort the blue blocks, he thought. And then I'll read my story. Oh, what a great idea. He finally found his book to read. So Rabbit sorted all the blocks by colors right and he made shapes out of them how cool is that at last the end and look at what did he make the blue blocks into looks like a little couch right and then if you look really closely i'm gonna put it nice and close if you look at the picture what book is rabbit reading hmm, it looks the same right here's rabbit there's rabbit He's reading the same book we did. All right, friends, I hope you like that story. I love this book about Rabbit. Again, if you wanna see some more fun ones, um, Alan Baker does really nice stories about little bunnies and, and he's got a lot of fun um, activities that you can do with them and a lot of thinking, which is great. Keep your brains nice and strong. All right, so remember, I'm gonna post a link down in the bottom that you can go ahead and check out. It's a fun game and it's a lot of sorting. So you have to use your brain and find the thing that is different, right? Find the odd one out. All right, friends, I hope you have a super day and I will see you soon. All right, we're gonna see each other tomorrow for our meeting. Yay! All right, bye friends, have a great day.